Honorary military titles and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. It comes as a U.S. judge decided a sexual assault case against the British royal could go ahead. In a statement, the palace announced that the pr Duke of York will defend his case as a private citizen and will not be undertaking any public duties. He denies the allegations against him. Earlier, I spoke to royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams. He says the prince has no future as a working member of the royal family. It was undoubtedly the right decision at the beginning of her platinum jubilee year, but also in response to some anger from veterans and also to a lengthy catalogue of what I can only describe as catastrophic mistakes by Andrew. All the options open to him, whether he uh, ignores the court, which is in New York, whether he attempts a settlement, which could be seen as partly as an admission of guilt if it can be negotiated, or if he were actually to take part in some form of court trial, all of these look bad for him, as does his behaviour and his choice of friends, including that grotesque interview on BBC News Night in November 2019. What has the public reaction been to this news? Well, I can only say that he has no support among the public at all. And one of the reasons for his disgrace is his downfall in the court of public opinion because on Newsnight in an interview which was simply a catastrophe of Krakatoan proportions, he showed no sympathy whatsoever for the victims of Epstein, nor has he, as he promised, helped the FBI who want to trace Epstein's accomplices and think he could be helpful in that regard. What do you think Prince Andrew's future looks like now? He has absolutely no future as a member of the royal family who carries out any engagements. He possibly could do a job managing the royal estates, whatever. It should be out of the public eye for the foreseeable future. And that means, in my opinion, permanently. And how long is his court case likely to continue? We have absolutely no idea because, on the one hand, there could be a discovery process, which is the next stage, and that means um, he'd be interviewed by um, Virginia Roberts Dufre, who's um, the plaintiff, her legal team, and then it could mean some, interna some sort of international press circus, which it would mean if he participated in a court trial. 95% of American uh, civil suits, because it's civil, not criminal, end up in a settlement, and that's my I bet one way or the other it's likely to, but precisely what that will involve, not only in monetary terms, but also in the terms of a possible apology, is quite another matter. What will she accept? We don't know. Still to come, how might...